Hey guys, it's Yvette. And right now, at this very moment, I am holding the Creative Notions bag. And I'll be honest, I'm not gonna, but I could cry right now because I guarantee you that Vicky will never forget her April 2020 Creative Notions bag. Never. That poor woman, I, and why is it that things like this always happen to like the nicest people? And most of, I, I think that most of us truly are, like do understand. And um, here's what happened. She had um, a lot of delays in deliveries to her of items that were to go in our April 2020 um, creative notions bag. And, you know, if she doesn't have the items, she can't put the, put the bags together. You know, I mean, you have to have the products and the way that it works with, um, subscription boxes is yes, you do plan for these things well in advance. I mean, I know she does, but the way that it works is you, you have like certain times that things are going to be delivered to you. And then you can start putting them together into the bag box, whatever it is, and to for you to pack it away. And for the smaller companies like Creative Notions, um, it's difficult to get deliveries ahead of time because she doesn't have a lot of storage. I mean, she's just in her home. Um, and so she has things delivered, you know, at certain times. It's usually never a problem. Um, it's just because of everything that's been going on. Not even going to talk about it. Let's not even go there. Okay. <laughs> but it's caused a lot of stress. At least I can only imagine. And even though there are a lot of us who are on the Facebook page. And so we got all of the updates. Um, she was so nice and so just on the ball, keeping us informed about what was going on. She was completely transparent about what was going on. So it's not like she was trying to make an excuse or didn't want to, you know, have to explain too much. For No, no, no. She was very upfront. And so I really admire her and I feel so for her. I really do. Um, because not everybody is on the Facebook and not everybody is receiving the newsletter. So those particular people... Um, you know, then all of a sudden get, they don't know what's going on. So they're like, Hey, what's going on? I haven't gotten my creative notions. And, you know, and they start asking questions and then they're going around, they're telling everybody, Hey, we just, ha we haven't gotten the creative notions. I know that she's gotten my money, you know, blah, 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 going on and on. <laughs> And everybody, you guys, I know that everybody means well. I know they do because it's like I've talked to a few people who, um, like I said, they're just not on Facebook and they don't get the newsletter. So they had no idea. Um, and then once I mentioned to them what was going on, they were very supportive as well. And um, so I do encourage you guys um, probably for like any subscription boxes that you have now going forward. I mean, for all times, if they have a newsletter, sign up because you'll get all the updates. You'll know everything that's going on. If they have like a Facebook group or if they have, uh, you know, Instagram presence or anything like that, go and follow them and make sure because you guys, I can't imagine. I mean, I'm not saying that there's nobody out there who's shady. I mean, I'm not I'm not stupid. I, I understand that things like that can happen. But for the most part, people are very nice and people are, you know, trying to do the best they can. So I would just suggest anything that you're involved with like that, any way that you can keep in contact, that's what I would do. Um, because that's how you're going to find out everything that's going on. So instead of keep talking and talking and talking and talking about that, <laughs> Let's open it up. I'm, I am really excited. And um, so let's get this done. Jim's coming home and he's got the garage going up and down and the cats are going crazy. Oh my goodness. Okay, you guys. Seriously. Y'all know that she like sends 
um, her stuff. Let me get it goes in a priority bag, but it's also like she'll have um, some sort of little drawstring bag or something um, with all of the stuff inside. This is different this month. I I am like, oh my god! Even just looking on the outside, first of all, I know, I don't know, but I know Vicky's brain. I know how creative she is, and I can just tell you this is going to be pretty special this month. This is going to be pretty special. I hope you're in on it. I hope you got this this bag this month, um, and. I think you're going to agree it's worth the wait. I haven't even opened it yet, but I'm looking at the bag that it's in and I'm like stunned right now. So you guys look. Oh my gosh. I'm just like, it's a project bag. Look at this. A handmade project bag. I am... Um, I'm sorry, Vicki. This is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. Honestly, I I ha I know that I have been singing your praises, like, <laughs> but you're so worth it. Oh, I can't I can't even believe this. Okay, I'm gonna collect myself. I'm gonna collect myself. I'm fine. See, after this, this is the only video I'm making today. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you guys. Oh my goodness. Did you see this? Look, I, I mean, seriously, look at this. It's got a handle. It's got a zipper. It's um, the vinyl front. It's perfect. It's perfect. I mean, okay, let's open it up. Let's get it, everything out. Where's her little note? Oh my God. I can't even. I'm going to like... Uh, is so special i can't believe i'm crying over a subscription box <laughs> y'all know i'm crazy oh let me get some coffee i need to put something in it okay <laughs> april 2020 subscription making memories one stitch at a time she's got the value on there i'm not even going to mention that memories is spelled wrong <laughs> I love you. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. Okay. I can't. I'm sorry, but there is no other subscription box where you would get stuff like this. <laughs> I'm telling you. There's no other subscription box who would give you this. I love you, Vicky. I do. Um, oh my gosh. Yeah, I gotta calm down. I won't be able to read. All right. Our beautiful fabric this month was made for Creative Notions by Sugar and Spice Textiles. You are receiving two sets of five fat quarters of cotton rainbow solids. This is the same fabric as the white fabric sent to you in the February package. The value of that is $20. You're also getting two fat quarters of garden bugs valued at $6. Um, you're getting an amazing project bag, size 12 by 15, value $15. I beg to differ. I think it's worth a heck of a lot more than $15. For what it's, for what it's worth, in my heart, it, I, I mean, could almost put priceless on this thing. I'm not even kidding. Project bag. As you know, we normally put our fabrics in a cute drawstring bag for you. We hope you won't mind that we sent you this beautiful and amazeballs useful project bag instead. This bag is made of great quality fabric, zipper, and vinyl, and will help you keep your projects organized until you can get to them. It will be perfect for those UFOs. And there's a zappy dot in here somewhere. <laughs> Value $350. Um, they gave us seven yards of jumbo rick rack valued at ten dollars and some washi tape i can't wait I, you guys I'm, I'm about having a heart attack right now because y'all know how i am addicted to the washi tape right and i saw this giant pack of washi tape near had a cow and it says value ten dollars 
Creative Notions, it is worth more than $10. If you go to Joann's and you get a, a size, like that size, it's at least $14.99. How do I know? Because I buy it all the time. So she's also undervaluing everything in this pack. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Um, there's a complimentary pattern for the Whimsy Garden quilt inside. They're having a UFO challenge. Until the end of July, let's finish as many UFOs as possible and post them on our Creative Notions group page. In August, which is their birthday, she's going to be two in August, <laughs> we will have a big celebration with lots of prizes. Names are being collected and put in a jar, and when August rolls around, we will start drawing names of winners. Oh my goodness. There will be many winners with one grand prize winner of a sewing machine. Get those UFOs finished, ladies and gents, everybody. Y'all, my hair is getting so long. Oh, Lord. I know. I'm preaching to the choir. <laughs> there are going to be more details in the following months. Okay. Um, she's giving us a 15% discount um, on anything in her shop, except for subscription purchases or rewards. Um, all sugar and spice solids are a dollar per yard off for a limited time. You can get it um, for your background for the spring quilt, which is in here. Um, she still has stuff for uh, making masks. If you'd like to go over to her shop and check it out. And um, congratulations to the winners this month who will be winning pre-cut fabrics. Um, the winning recipe is Carrot Cookies by Ronnie Clark. And two winners who use their subscription box fat quarters to make something amazing. And that's Shelly Stewart. Hi, Shelly. She's a jelly beanie. <laughs> and Peggy Kern. Peggy might be, but I don't um, remember having a whole lot of posts from her in the jelly beanie. So um, two ladies who have been sewing up a storm. Um, congratulations to all three of you. And... Um, she does say this. She says, as we go through these difficult times, let's say a prayer for those who have succumbed to illness and remember to do all we can to prevent the spread of this disease. Wash your hands regularly. Refrain from touching your face. You guys don't even watch me in these videos for at least a couple a year now. I have been, ha all my skin itches all the time. It's terrible. People, look right now, it's itching right here. I'm really not kidding. Y'all think I'm crazy. I, that's why I don't even realize I'm doing it. And then I'll get all these comments about I touched my face. <laughs> I apologize profusely right now for all future videos. Okay. Um, <laughs> especially your nose and eyes. Avoid crowds and shelter indoors. It's a great time to work on those projects that have been building up and taking space. Join us in our UFO challenge as we pass the time until we can all return to life as we know it. We wish you the best from the Creative Notions family to yours. I'm so blessed to know her. I am so blessed to know her. Okay, let's start looking at the stuff because I want to see the stuff. Um, oh my goodness, we've got candy. They're like little marshmallows. And they're called bunny tails. And here's the front. I can't wait. Um, okay, here's the, the Rick Rack. I mean, hello, we got us a lot of Rick Rack right here. Um, it's lovely purple. I wonder if we all got the same color. Let me know down below what color Rick Rack you got. I want to know. Um, okay, and then we have um, two fat quarter bundles of solids. Let me hold them the right way. There we go. This one has a little teeth all on the front. So there are all our solids. Pretty. Hello, Rainbow. <laughs> and here are the two fat quarters that we have. Um, oh my goodness, you guys, look. I love ladybugs. I do. And look, the other side, we got butterflies. So cute. I love that. And y'all know I love buttons, right? Bees and uh, ladybugs. 
Hello. <laughs> we got 12. Oh my goodness. And they're washable, so you can put them on anything. There we go. We got buttons. Did she say buttons on the thing? I don't remember anything about any buttons on the thing. She, she always gives us so much that she doesn't even like value in there. Because you know, I see nothing about buttons on here. <laughs> So she's basically just giving us some buttons as line up. That's what she's doing. Okay, so and and little marshmallows. I have to have a marshmallow. I'm sorry. I love marshmallows. I'm gonna eat a pink one. Mmm. Okay. Now, you guys. Scatter seeds of kindness. I'm pretty sure this is our zappy dot. She washed and taped it on the back. Yep, it's our zappy dot. Ooh, JB just popped up. And let me pull it out so you can see it. Hi, honey bun. Are you going to say hello? You got to say hello. And there it is. So cute. And I've been putting it on all sorts of magnetic stuff in here, so I'm going to have to find a spot to put it. Because um, you know, you can only put like one zappy dot at a time in like the necklace and stuff. So um, I find places to put them so that everybody can see them. And I can also go and like put them downstairs like um, on the door where all our um, magnets are. Because they're really pretty too. And you guys, look, Maker's Washer, Maker's Planner Washi Tape. And let's look and see what they are in there. So let me get the tape off. I, I, I can't, Vicki, you have no idea how happy I am with your boxes, always. I am never disappointed. I am never disappointed. And that's a huge thing. That's huge, Vicky. I can't tell you how many times I am disappointed with other boxes I get. I'm not naming any names. I'm just saying it happens more often than I'd like. And I am never disappointed with your box. Okay, so here's the first one. This is like some quarter inch tape that you can use on your machine if you want to put washi tape down to um, for your quarter inch line or whatever. You can use something like this. That's a nice big, and look how it's really, it's a nice thick, I don't want to, yeah, that's nice. That's, it's really nice. Now, washi tape, um, I just want to tell you that washi tape doesn't leave a residue and it um, it doesn't stick like um, it's not going to even be like scotch tape. Do you know what I mean? It's it's not something it's it's something like hold on. Where did it, I just where did I just put that? For goodness sakes. <laughs> but oh, here it is. So you see how this is just a little decorative closure, right? So um, so if you see. See how it comes right off? There's no residue, but then you can put it down again. So if I put this um, down on there, it would hold it in the same way, but it's not like it's really strong. Do you know what I mean? So I'm just letting you know that if you're going to use washi tape, um, like for me, if I use this kind of washi tape, well, which is the kind that's in here, um, if I put it on the outside of any packages that I'm going to be mailing um, then what I do is I put this tape down and then I put packing tape around it so that it doesn't, cause it'll come off because it's not meant to be like, it's not meant to be like scotch tape. It's meant to be mostly decorative. Um, okay. So I just wanted to clear that up just in case you didn't know what, cause I mean, you know, there are a couple of people who might not know. <laughs> um, okay. This one says begin each day with a grateful heart. I don't know if they all say the same thing or if it's different, but, and I like how it's a nice big font. Where's the beginning? There it is. 
begin each day with a and then i can see the grateful heart under here so that's really pretty and then this one i'm just gonna pour them out oh i'm glad none of them are really thin i hate those really skinny ones i just don't like those <laughs> this one says oh i heart quilting i heart quilting very nice i love it this one says uh, believe you can and you are halfway there believe you can and you are halfway there where where did it go you are you are halfway there it's like overlapping on top of each other but i can read it okay um this one says i only quilt in days that end in y that's hilarious <laughs> That's funny. I like that one. I only quilt on days that end in Y. <laughs> and then this one says, quilting, it's not just a craft, it's therapy. <laughs> and then there's like a sewing machine and some hexes. That was cute. And then there's one more. And this one says, love is the thread that binds us. So it starts there. Love is the thread that binds us. Well, the us is like under the neck, the first layer, but there it is. Oh my goodness. I love it. We're not done, guys. Hold up, because we they also gave us a pattern that they're not charging us for. <laughs> it's just provided free. <laughs> um, and here it is. Oh, wait, almost forgot about the carrot cookies. Okay, now this is by Ronnie Clark. Ronnie, thank you so much for sharing your recipe for the carrot cookies. I'll eat carrots. <laughs> I'm sure they're lovely, and it's more for you. <laughs> okay, so it says two cups of flour, two teaspoons of bacon powder, quarter teaspoon of salt, one cup of cooked carrots. <laughs> Y'all, I'm just crazy. Don't listen to me. <laughs> Three quarter cup of margarine, three quarter cup of sugar, one half teaspoon of vanilla, one quarter cup of cocoa sifted, and one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. And then all the instructions are on there. And there it is. And there's like space on the back if you want to make notes like, take the carrots out and put extra sugar. <laughs> Y'all don't listen to me. <laughs> so congratulations, Ronnie. Thank you for the recipe. I'm sure um, everybody's going to love it. Oh, my goodness. I just love this project bag. I'm going to have to show it to you without all the stuff in it. Okay, so here is the pattern. It's in, I mean, it's all like in a plastic thing, and it's got a little binder clip up here. Oh, my goodness. And look at it. Finish size is 64 by 68. And look how cute. Look how cute that is. It's adorable. Okay, I'm not going to pull it all out because I, then I'd be sitting here trying to put it all back in because you don't know me. But here is the pattern. It is very nice and it's free. <laughs> uh, okay, so look it. Look at the inside. Fabric words. And it's like quilty people fabric. And look. There's all the spools of thread, and then there's buttons on the, on the, like all of the decorative, whatever we call this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like, I think it's all wonderful. It's wonderful. Thank you so much to Vicky and to Sugar and Spice Textiles. Thank you so much. I think you guys did an amazeballs job it was god i can't even explain how worth the wait this was i cannot even explain it thank you thank you thank you so much you ladies are just your whole family thank you so much i love you vicky if you guys are not already subscribed to my channel please consider doing so my channel is mostly quilting I opened subscription boxes and I had loads and loads of fun. Um, so 
Won't you ring that bell too so you're notified every time I post a new one? <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Mwah. Love you.